Hey, how's it going everyone? Mick from All About Tech. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to talk about Electronium. They've just released their uh, their weekly company update um, and their new format for releasing these company updates has been, ap it's been absolutely fantastic. Again, some really cool, exciting news that they've uh, that they've put into the into the update, and I'm going to go through it with you guys and give you my thoughts. Just before I do that, though, um, I just want to bring uh, attention to you guys a new project that I've been working on. Um, it's something that I'm 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 really quite excited for, um, and I just want to let you guys know because. Um, it, it does involve any task in quite a big way. So I've released a brand new Twitch channel called Taking the Mick. And what's relevant about this in regards to any task is that pretty much all of the graphics, most of the graphics were sourced from anytask.com. Um, I have my review coming out of anytask.com next week, so uh, stick around for that. But... If you guys watch Twitch, if you guys don't watch Twitch, um, obviously it's a streaming platform where people play games. They uh, they they do all sorts. It's not just gaming. People do painting and art and stuff. It's it's a platform for streaming um, to your community. Um, I'm already at 24 followers after the first week of official launch of Taking the Mick, and it would really mean a lot to me if you guys went and gave us a follow on the channel. Um, affiliate, Twitch affiliate, you need to reach 50 followers um, and have free concurrent viewers. Everything is smashed apart from that follow account, so I'd massively appreciate it if you guys could go and give us a follow and show us your support. That would be amazing. Um, we also have a YouTube channel as well. The day after every stream, the highlights are put together and they are put on YouTube. Um, Again, I'll leave links in the description to all these uh, all these social channels. Go give us a follow. Go give us a, subs a uh, subscribe. It would mean the absolute world to us. Um, and yeah, that out of the way. Let's get straight into the company update. So, any task purchases with ETN to go live in the coming weeks. That's the title. Um, it's something that people have been expecting. Obviously, any task has been built by Electronium. Um, I for one, I do think this is, this is an exciting update, um, however I do, I do still feel that paying with a debit and credit card is the most easiest way to spend your, your, your money on any task, um, that's, that's the real draw because it brings in anybody throughout the world. That's what makes it a true competitor to Fiverr, that you don't necessarily need cryptocurrency to spend it. But this is an added, um, feature, which added features are never a bad thing. And it also skips the remittance that needs to take place, which means down the line when they eventually have to put some sort of fee on the fiat-based um, purchases of ETN, the Electronium based purchases could probably have a smaller fee and that's because they don't have to have that remittance take place by the third party to go out and source the Electronium to pay the seller. Um, so that's always going to be a good thing. You'll save some money by using Electronium to pay for your tasks. Um, which is fantastic. That's coming in the company week, in the company weeks, in the coming weeks. Um, and then not just that, the tech team are also working on uh, some other exciting changes, uh, including the use of integrated wallets in the app. It's all it's already been released on the My Electronium website um, just uh, two days ago, but they plan to release it in the Electronium app very soon. Um, very exciting stuff. It's always good to keep getting. Uh, features added to apps and to your and to your platforms um i'm still waiting for biometric signing i i it's it's ease of use no matter what people think of biometric signing it is ease of use and it's convenient and every banking app does it so put in biometric signing for goodness sake it needs to happen 
it will eventually happen. If I drone on long enough, it'll happen. Um, they're also uh, looking at uh, putting new order notifications that are much clearer. They include a celebratory pop-up and an improved UI on the AnyTask freelancer order page. Um, you can see there, there's the status, new order, and there's little a little emoji there, um, which is cool. They've also said that they're going to be doing things to make the task due dates, as said here, much clearer. Um, so you know when to expect that task to be completed. Um, moving on to any task survey results, this is quite impressive. Um, bearing in mind it's a black, it, it's a black, it's a brand new platform. It's going to have teething issues. It's going to have teething issues. Even in my review, there was there, there, there there's a couple of things that I think need improving, um, which obviously I'll go into detail next week. Um, but it's great to see 88% of buyers would recommend any task and 82% would purchase again, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, and that's only something they can improve upon by by um, by really nailing down the UI and the user experience of the buyer, um, as well as improving things for the seller as well. If they make things as easy as possible for the seller, it's easier to deliver those tasks, um, which in turn then... Uh, benefits the, the 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 customers and the users buying tasks on elect on uh, on any tasks. Um, influencers. This is quite an exciting thing. Um, to me, this is the biggest thing in this update. Um, in my opinion, so they're delighted to announce they've signed a contract with Clear.com, a platform that provides unlimited direct access to thousands of influencers. Uh. Does that mean does that does that mean us guys that have been covering electronium? Uh we're kind of obsolete now. <laughs> nah, just kidding. I'll still cover E T N no matter what. Um So yeah. This will help further our massive marketing campaign scheduled to go full swing in September. Um in September. That's next month. That is very soon. This is this monstrous marketing campaign that's gonna be coming out. Um and it comes in line with the uh with the TV um, appearances that Richard Ells is doing for Electronium. Um, Jonathan said that he couldn't go into further details about the marketing agreements due to NDAs, but the rest assured you'll be in awe as they come to complement the three-part series that kicks off next week on Cron TV, Fox Business and Bloomberg TV. We have been in meetings all week with crypto experts and influencers and top tier podcasters who have expressed very encouraging opinions on how they view Electronium, said Jonathan. Um, and the good thing about this is that the uh, the first interview uh, for, for this series is an interview that takes place on Cron TV and then the following day Fox Business and then on the 29th of August, tw uh, Bloomberg TV. Um, but that's not the three-part series. That's just part one of the three-part series. So there's going to be quite a lot of content there uh, to be consumed by millions, which is really, really good. Back-to-back -back meetings and interviews. Um, Dr. Jane Thompson has done an interview with Richard Ells last week for Fintech TV. Um, and... Uh, Dr. Tom Thomason selected five companies working in different ways from mobile money to crypto philanthropy. Um, and Richard's been involved in, 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 in what they've done there for that sort of uh, article and interview series sort of thing. Um, and then award-winning crypto journalist and influencer, as well as prolific author and international speaker, Gillian Godsill, reached out to Richard for an interview she plans to publish on Voice. Um and apparently there's extraordinarily significant revelation he made during the interview, uh, which obviously they're not going to release yet. Um, so we will keep an eye out for that interview to see what is said. Um, I've already mentioned about the uh, how it's it's a lot more than just one interview across three platforms. It's That's just part one of a three-part series. And then finally, updates from the, uh, from the C-Levels. Head of Corporate Relations, Chris Norris and Head of Business Development, Nigel Pooley, um, have also been very busy. They've been in conversations with several international brands that provide the off-ramps Electronium is looking for as part of an ongoing construction of a game-changing crypto ecosystem like no other in the industry. 
Chris Norris ha also has an update regarding the addition of the instant crypto exchange he recently revealed. Testing is still in progress. <clears throat> Excuse me. Testing is still in progress, but we are very delighted to announce that we expect to go live by the first week of September as we are ensuring that all technical issues have been satisfactorily resolved before we do. Head of blockchain Chris Harrison says that all the build issues we spoke of last week have now been resolved. However, the fix for macOS binaries are not running as expected for some users. However, we are working on some optimizations for the wallet to improve enterprise wallet performance, he said. Um, concentrating on progress, the support manager Sam Warren said that he and his team have concentrated on continuing our progress with our support desk in the Philippines in terms of KPIs and new procedures with Zendesk. Always good to see that there's continual advances, especially when it comes to customer service and user experience. Alongside this, we have been using positive changes on any task and implementing them within Electronium Zendesk, which is good. You find something that works on one platform, move it along over, transition it to your other platforms, why not? Um, Sam further explained that it would, it would help support uh, to keep the support numbers down while not having to worry that we have to go back to the tickets that have not been solved manually. That will help us concentrate on more pressing queries moving forward and give a better, more personalized service to our dedicated community. That is the update, guys. I must say, I am so happy that they've moved to this style of format for company updates. This is fantastic. This is fantastic reporting on everything that they're, that they're doing. It's not just about the blockchain. It's not just about the ecosystem. It's about everything they do as a company, from personnel to logistics to partnerships to interviews. Everything is on the table here. Um, and I think we're just going to get more and more exciting updates as, the, as time goes on. Really looking forward to these interviews because they sound really, really good. Um, especially this uh, this TV series that that's going to be coming out very soon. So I'll keep an eye out for that, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. As always, please, please, please help us get to fifty followers on Twitch. Go follow us on on uh, on YouTube and Twitter. I'll leave links all down in the description below. Thank you for watching all about tech. Uh, make sure to subscribe to this channel too, and I'll catch you guys out in the next one. Peace.